Hello everyone! Welcome to episode 9 of the first round of The Reason Pleasant You. In episode 8 we played the oldies, Mary Sue moved in with her parents and finally started climbing the ranks, and today we are playing Kaylin Langerak, the homewrecker. Kaylin is currently asleep, meanwhile we can uh, talk about her personality. She is obviously going to keep her lifetime want to graduate three children from college. Unfortunately, it changed. I don't know why, but I'll change it back to what it was. Kaylin is very ambitious, as it is said in her bio, so that uh, lifetime want was definitely for her. Also, Kaylin is going to keep her hairstyle. She's got the same hairstyle as Nina Caliente and Heather Huffington. I've already changed Nina's and uh, I'm going to change Heather's. And Kaylin will uh, keep her hairstyle. As for Kaylin's one true hobby, it is going to remain tinkering. I was thinking about um, changing it to sports, but uh, tinkering is a pretty rare one, so let at least some sims keep it. And finally, we need to give Kaylin her secondary aspiration, and of course it is going to be fortune. After all, she didn't want to create a family with uh, a loser, she only wanted to create a family with a rich Sam. That's why she was into Daniel so much. Zina is in awful mood. Wake up, Kaylin. Wake up. Uh, change diaper. Cuddle Zina. Feed bottle to Zina. And uh, speaking of Kaylin's relationship with Daniel. Yeah, as you can see, their relationship is not great. I believe she used to be uh, mad at him, but uh, yeah, she's still in love with him, by the way. But uh, her daily relationship is a lot lower than it used to be. And it's not surprising at all, because uh, she used to be Daniel's mistress for many years, and he constantly asked her to wait for longer. But even after she had Zena, he refused to leave his wife. That's why Kaylin is mad and uh, she gave up on him. Currently she's interested in Chester Geek. She's got a crush on him, she's got two bolts with him. And uh, honestly, I don't think that she's really attracted to Chester. It's uh, mainly her fear that he is her last chance. After all, now she has a baby on her hands. Her reputation has been ruined. Uh, everyone knows uh, that uh, the Pleasants divorced because of her. Plus, uh, there are rumors claiming that uh, Zena is not even Daniel's. And I think everyone understands where the rumors come from, right? Don't got uh, a memory of having a public woohoo with Kaylin, so clearly some Sims saw them together and they can assume that uh, the baby is Don's, not Daniel's. And finally, speaking of Don, Don did nothing to Kaylin. It was she herself who cheated on Daniel with Don, hoping to get at least Don. I think uh, I'll invite him over in the evening and uh, ask him to be just friends. She clearly gave up on Don the moment she heard about his flight from his own wedding. If he didn't want to tie the knot with someone as rich as Cassandra, he would definitely not want to tie it with someone as poor as Kaylin herself. I wanted her to go on a date with Chester. Because she needs uh, this relationship a lot more than Chester does. Her financial situation is bad. Zena needs someone as a father figure. Should we hire a nanny? Oh, there is Dustin. Wait a second, Kaylin, change into every day. And ask Dustin to babysit Zena. Dustin is a very experienced nanny. 
They do not know each other yet. Probably he will not agree to ba babysit Zina. Oh, she's got work today. No way! And her working hours are terrible. But hopefully she will be promoted. Can we? She cannot ask him to babysit Zina yet. Then let her call service and hire a nanny. I'll be there. Then come here, nanny. Weekly. Oh, there is Brandy. Super huge. She came here to visit her son Dustin, probably. <laughs> oh, she wants to get fit, so probably she wanted to gain a body skill point. Go to work. Where is the nanny? Oh, that's bad. No, and the carpool left. On the other hand, she's got vacation days. We'll hire a regular nanny and we'll ask Chester out on date. Just for now, please. Community lot. Preferably somewhere in Blue Water Village. Oh, the nanny came. I think we'll have two nannies and we'll have to pay both. Oh no, the second one comes. Dismiss her. We'll go to Blue Water Village where less Sims know about Kaylin's story. Luckily, Chester is very shy, so probably no one told him about Kaylin's past. Oh, let's go to the same place. I'll go to community lot, otherwise, we'll miss the date. Mm. Oh, entertain joke. Oh, she wanted to tell him a dirty joke. <gasps> Look at it! <laughs> he wants to woohoo in bed, tell joke to Jason Larson, and be tickled by Kaylin. Okay, play tickle him. <laughs> There's Mary Sue, and she sees. Kaylin with another red-headed guy. But she's probably happy about it, like, oh, clearly even the maid dumped Daniel. And she wants to kiss him, obviously, she wants to get to the point where he'll be all hers. Oh, I don't know, tender kiss again, and then probably make out. And Don sees everything through the window, and he doesn't care, like, okay, I can do whatever I want, and Kaylin can do the same. Romantic kiss, yes, you. Oh, yes, and they're best friends. She wants to have a dream date with Chester. Wow, it's already dream date. Okay, we'll ask him to go steady tomorrow. There is Don. Unfortunately, we'll have to invite him over tomorrow. The best time I've ever had with anybody. Oh, Chester. It's your first date <laughs> with anyone. Uh, call taxi. Oh, they're kissing on their own. I like it. <laughs> She tried to admire this professor, but probably professor knows who Kaylin is. That's why she reacted negatively. <gasps> Someone kicked the can. Clearly, Kaylin's got a lot of enemies. Um, 
Dismiss. Dismiss the nanny quickly. She wasn't even needed. <gasps> Look at it! She's mocking her! I tell you, Kaylin's reputation is ruined. Oh, Chester left a bouquet for Kaylin. Well, he is pretty broke himself, so uh, put leftovers away. So he only gave her the flowers. Oh well. On the other hand, he is not really experienced uh, in these matters. Probably he doesn't know that he could bring a gift. Oh, she suddenly wants to sell a great novel and write novel. She probably wants to write uh, a story about her own life, about her unhappy romance with Daniel and their love child. Oh, I think it's Zena's birthday today also. I think uh, Kaylin wanted to get in shape after her pregnancy. Oh, let's try to invite Dawn over and ask him to be just friends. No, your friend cannot come. I bet he was going to bring Nina or Dina. Greet Dawn and tell him that now you have a boyfriend. And you don't want anything from him, and he shouldn't expect to have anything from you. Oh, wow. That's their last kiss. And he's okay with being just friends. Finally, Don. Oh, no, say goodbye to him. Honestly, I'm thinking about uh, ending this episode early because I want Chester and Kaylin to get married, like uh, at the end of his second date. So probably we'll play Kaylin just till evening and then we'll see her again in Chester's episode. She wants to buy a sculpture costing at least oh no 1500 simoleons are you serious kaylin and <gasps> joe car is what are you doing with dustin hey man Keep how dare you <laughs> dustin is my ultimate sweetheart don't touch him and uh, this time ask Chester out on date to your trailer. You need to tell him that you have a daughter before you start going steady with him. Oh, he's not at home yet. Well, use this then. Serve lunch to impress Chester. Think about Chester, look at the flowers, don't burn the sandwiches. Good job. Uh, now let's uh, ask Chester out on date again and uh, I think we need to feed Zena. What is it? Greet, yes. Put Zena in creep first. Hello, Chester. As you can see, I'm not leaving alone. But he likes uh, the grilled, ch the grilled cheese sandwiches. Appreciate, admire. Yes, you're gassing up, paid off, Chester. Mm, I don't know. Kiss, romantic kiss. Yes, you, you. Tell Dirty Joke again, talk to Chester. Yes, tell him about your. Oh, you're in love, chat. Tell him about your daughter. That your daughter will definitely come with you. Like, oh, no, that's a bad topic. And. Well, probably he said, like, I don't care about the rumors, and he changed the topic himself. Like, I don't care what they say, 
She wants to get engaged to him. Oh. He is serving the meal. No, don't watch TV. What is it? Help with birthday. Oh, it's Zina's birthday. I thought we... I thought we would end the episode earlier. Okay. Oh. I think she looks like Kaylin. Okay. Eat. What about Zina? Oh, Zina needs to be party trained. Unfortunately, it looks like she'll she'll go into her diaper. Let's. What is it? Daniel broke up. You probably should should be happy about it. Let's take a look at her personality. Oh, she is super neat, and she is just as shy as Kaylin. I think she takes after Kaylin, but uh, isn't Kaylin serious? Yes, Kaylin is serious, and I believe Daniel is serious too. Kaylin, do not let Zina eat this. Now it's time. It's time to make out with Chester. Look at Chester's wands. Mm. Yeah. Kellen, propose engagement. Bloody. Oh, man, that's a boy. Yes, Chester, you can finally get your woohoo. But for now, say goodbye to him. Don't clean anything. Say goodbye. You'll move in with him in a couple of episodes. Well, that's it. Put leftovers away. She already wants to have another baby. She clearly wants to have a baby with Chester so that he never leaves her. Okay, put away leftovers. And I think we'll end this episode here. Next time we'll see Kaylin at Chester's place. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And bye!